Johnny Depp is about to introduce transhumanism into the mainstream with the release of his upcoming film, Transcendence, where he plays a computer scientist who uploads his brain into the internet to become an immortal, all-knowing, all-powerful god. And while most people probably think that this is just science fiction, some of the world's biggest tech companies are actually trying to make this happen. Ray Kurzweil, a chief engineer at Google, believes that by 2045, he is going to become God, an immortal, all-knowing, cybernetic God, uploading his brain, his consciousness, into the Internet. Time Magazine has covered this. This concept has largely been an esoteric fringe, but Johnny Depp's film will introduce this concept into the mainstream now that the technology appears to be getting close to making this possibly actually happen. And the brain-dead, mentally enslaved zombie public will line up despite the disastrous consequences. The film Transcendence will most likely warn of the just absolute horrific consequences of such actions, but that hasn't stopped any tech companies from pursuing their godlike dreams. Sort of like the prescription drug companies who put out commercials uh, that, you know, talk about the benefits of the supposed drug or their, their supposed benefits for 10 seconds and then go through the side effects for the uh, remaining, you know, minute and a half of the commercial. Uh, you know, this, this drug may cause uh, suicidal thoughts, you know, thoughts of gambling compulsion, uh, you know, sharding your pants. Uh, but people just love the drugs. They're still just breaking in the dough. Hey, yeah, Doc, sounds good. Let me uh, sign me up for that. That sounds like something I really want to take. Uh, and the dire warnings about transhumanism will most likely go unnoticed, unconcerned uh, uh, by the mentally enslaved morons. What's also interesting about Johnny Depp is his admiration and friendship with Hunter S. Thompson who he just couldn't help but uh, brag about just on, you know, all the talk shows, played Hunter S. Thompson in uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, uh, a book by Hunter S. Thompson. Hunter S. Thompson, by the way, has such disgusting and uh, just horrific allegations surrounding him. I don't even like to talk about it. So if you want to learn what a dirtbag this guy is, just search for Hunter S. Thompson and the Franklin cover-up. Uh, when he was on the Letterman show, David Letterman, back in 1988, uh, around the same time the allegations uh, that were made in the Franklin cover-up were, uh, print, were, were said to be happening, he, uh, in his mumbling speech, aside from saying that he likes to kill um, and that he only hunted because, not for the meat, but he just he liked to, get to kill, he really freaked David Letterman out. Uh, but he also said at about 7 minutes and 13 seconds into the interview, that he had been to Hillbilly when talking about George Bush. Uh, Hillbilly is the camp of the Bushes in the Bohemian Grove, the very place that the Franklin cover-up claims that Hunter S. Thompson participated in some unmentionable, horrific, nightmarish activities. Hunter S. Thompson, of course, also uh, just known for being a drug addict. Just, just, a, it's just a big brain damaged drug doing uh, dirt bag, and so you know, just Johnny, Johnny Depp just loves him. Yeah, he just produced one of his movies, uh, one of you know, one of his books into a movie, and just played him and was friends with him, and you know, just went to his funeral and blasted his ashes out of a cannon. That's the kind of guy you really want to be admiring. Is is a, just an absolute uh, drug. Uh, doing brain damaged demon who, uh, you know, said he likes to like to kill people uh, or things rather. Uh, didn't want to talk about killing people. Just watch the interview; it's extremely <laughs> disturbing. They've been to Hillbilly. Yeah, he's been been to Hillbilly <laughs> over there. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if the allegations by former Senator John DeCamp in his book, The Franklin Cover Up, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they were 100% accurate. So, the transhumanist agenda. Uh, appears to be, uh, you know, just full steam ahead. Uh, Ray Kurzweil just can't wait for it to happen. You know, if you'll ask him if he believes in God, and he says, not yet. Mark Zuckerberg and a bunch of other big tech billionaires are now investing in artificial intelligence. 
You know, they're trying to build Satan a body, they're trying to build Lucifer a body. I mean, they're just, they're getting their directions from this just demonic entities. They're preparing the planet for the Lord Lucifer, who's going to make you plug the mark of the beast into your brain, you know? Um, Intel says that by 2020, you're just going to be surfing the internet by the brain, brain chips, you know? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, in order to, you know, get onto the internet, our terms of service say that you have to take the brain chip. Oh, it'll be fun. It just makes it really convenient. Oh, yeah. I mean, you might have seen the show. It's a hit show on CBS called Intelligence about a government agent who has a, a neural interface, uh, uh, a BMI, a brain machine interface, a computer chip implanted into his brain to make him super intelligent. And that is what they are promising. That's what the elite Illuminati uh, plan to do, a, a Matrix-style, Star Trek-style Borg where you literally wire the Internet into your brain. Oh, I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Oh, I'm sure that you can just trust the tech companies. I mean, we've been able to trust these big tech companies with our personal and private information. I mean, it's, it's not like they've ever turned that over to the government, to the NSA, and then just, you know, just lied about it. It's not, it's not like Microsoft and, you know, Bill Gates, the richest man in the world. Uh, it's not like he just, you know, handed the keys to the kingdom over to the NSA and just worked hand-in-hand -hand with the NSA to build backdoors into all of his products. So I'm sure that you can just trust these big tech companies uh, to, you know, just treat your mind, body, and soul with uh, utmost respect and safety when you just wire the Internet right into your brain. And it might get to the point where you don't even need to wire it in. You might just put a couple little plugs on your head. Just put a little hat on there, and it'll just, it'll read your brain waves, and it'll pump uh, electron, it'll, it'll pump uh, wa radio waves back into your brain. So you might not even go in, need to go in for evasive surgery. Oh, just put on this hat. Oh, just put on your little, little Google Glass version 2.0. Oh, it's so fun. Yeah, and then the Illuminati counterfeit Christ, the, the Antichrist, is going to tell the world that he has created heaven on earth. He's unlocked heaven for everybody. It's here. All you got to do is just go to the little Google hospital and just take this little chip. It's your next phase of evolution into becoming a god. That's what they're telling people. That's what these absolute psychos are planning on doing. <laughs> I mean, you can't make this up. So the discussion around transcendence may very well bring the idea of transhumanism into the mainstream discussion and most of the just the brain dead mainstream media watching uh, distracted uh, uh, you know just demonic dirtbag public uh, will now believe and, and understand this oh it's not science fiction oh you mean I can become a god oh I'm so afraid to die and then if you don't want to take the chip you're gonna be seen as a suicidal terrorist oh wait a minute but but the Illuminati Messiah, but the Lord Lucifer has finally come here, and you're denying him. Oh, you're denying your entry into heaven. You're so stupid. We're just going to kill you. That's what they're going to try to do. That's just the fulfillment of Bible prophecy. You should probably go and read the New Testament. Uh, probably time to, you know, pick up your Bible, crack it open, and uh, figure out exactly what it is that's going on and what's going to happen. <laughs> right? Uh, so, you know, here in First Peter... Uh, chapter 2, verse 9, it says, God has brought you out of the darkness into the marvelous light. And so now you must tell all the wonderful things he has done. So don't be afraid to tell the truth. Don't be afraid to just denounce these absolute evil electronic demons. Look at Johnny Depp here standing before a big all-seeing Illuminati eye like that, just pimping out, you know, this dirtbag Hunter S. Thompson, this Bohemian Grove attending hillbilly loving drug damaged demon. So anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. Check out some of the previous videos on the playlist. Check out my book, Big Brother, The Orwellian Nightmare Come True, where I talk in detail about neural interfaces uh, and the just disastrous consequences of this technology. And stay tuned because there's more videos coming soon.